everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano. This guy. Presley. Nathan. And today we're gonna take a look at the chocolate pen. pen. All right, so this is what we've got inside the chocolate pen box. Now I got a fancy pink one. Happens to be a Walmart exclusive. You can see right there, a little Walmart thing. It's fancy. I actually already opened this, so it's not a true unboxing, which is why I'm doing it this way instead of the other way. Um, I also put batteries in here as well. So this little thing comes off. There's a little back piece. Now this little see how it slides down like that. When you hit the uh, go button, you can hear it. Listen close. That sounds weird. Um, you put this thing back on there, and as you hit the button, that little piece on the inside actually moves up, compressing the chocolate that goes inside, and that's kind of what makes it work. But if you tilt it, as long as this thing's on, it stays put. The second you remove this piece, it actually becomes very loose. It's kind of weird. I don't exactly know how that keeps it in there, but it does. So. There's that. We're gonna put our chocolate inside there in just a second. But what else do we have in the box? We've got a bunch of molds. Now these are molds that say fun stuff like, what does that even say? LOL and a smiley face. OMG, drama queen, love. These are really weird. Okay, what else do we got? Penguins and various sea animals. There's also a mouse with cheese. I like that one. Elephants. What else we got? Rainbows, stars, music notes, flowers, a cool guitar. I will eat a chocolate guitar. All right, what else we got in here? There are these little tip things that go onto the edge of this little, you know, you put it in there between the chocolate, and there are these little clamps. Now, supposedly, these are the worst part of the whole thing. That and the chocolate, which we'll get to in just a second. Now, the chocolate goes inside of here, right? So you unscrew this. You put your chocolate bag right inside there. That sounds bad. And you uh, close this back around, but you put one of these tips inside as well. And the hard part, the part that people have so much trouble with, is actually getting the little clamps to clamp on over it around the plastic bag. So we'll see how I do with that in just a second. First, let's rip one of these bad boys open. And just kind of take a better look at them. There we go. We just need one set. Oh, and also a pin. Whatever, they're all coming out. So, we've got a pin. We have the little ring clamp, and these will close like that. And we have the actual nozzle tip. Now there are four of them, and they all appear to be the exact same size. Okay, and the last thing inside this box is actually the chocolate, and there are four different kinds. I've got this blue, I've got a pink. Now some of these may look a little gooey, that's because in between that last cut, I actually got started and I put them in hot water. So I've got a little bit of hot water right here. They actually sit right inside the hot water. It's very dark in there, but I promise it's hot. And they sit inside there so that they're not solid like this, because they're solid. See how it doesn't droop? It just stays solid. When they're hot and melty, they do this. See, melty, gross. But it's very warm, it's very moldable, this one is not. So it comes with four different kinds, blue, pink, white, and regular brown. And now let's see if we can actually uh, get this in there. Let's see if this works. Okay, apparently I lied. There are two more things inside this box. These are like little uh, twist ties and other little plastic bags. I'm not sure what you do with them quite yet. Maybe they're to package your chocolates? What does it say? It says they're gift bags and twist ties. So yeah, I was exactly right. They're there to Package your chocolates. Uh, there's also this little instruction book that, you know, I don't like reading those things. Words, I mean, at least there's a lot of pictures. That's kind of nice. Uh, so it does go over how exactly you should be putting this all together. Let's, uh, let's see if this thing actually works. Let's try it out. First thing you're supposed to do is take out your warm chocolate and you are supposed to kind of knead it to make sure that all of the chocolate is in fact melted and there aren't any chunks in there. So you want to make sure it's very liquidy chocolate because if there are chunks they will clog up the pen and then it's not going to work at all. So also another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move all the chocolate towards the bottom of the bag. So I'm going to use my fingers and kind of kind of squish it down there towards the bottom. And that way when I make my cut, which I got to cut this thing open with scissors. So you know, kids, ask your parents where the scissors are and then use them by yourself. But uh, let's see here. Okay. 
Good, I squished it all down, and now it's time for a cut. It is cut. We're gonna put this on the inside of the chocolate bag. I almost got chocolate everywhere right now. Move you. Okay, this is a hard part. There, see look it went, it's on there. Right? Now I gotta take this little ring thing, put it around the outside, and close it. Oh, that worked pretty well. Oh, see that wasn't bad. I heard people had real issues with that. Okay, so I got warm chocolate. Oh, and then I've got it in a little bag thing. That's how this goes in. So, you can't have it sit on top, you have to have it sit on the inside. And then you can put this back down, and that should twist right back into place. All right, so now that that's done, now, look at that, it's already dripping. Let me see if I can draw something, cool. I wanna draw Mickey Mouse is what I wanna draw, but it's already, because it's so hot and so liquidy. All right, now that I have a nice clean place to work with, let's see what I can do here. Let's, I'm gonna try to do a Mickey Mouse is what I wanna do. So, let's make a little nose. Kinda looking like a Mickey Mouse a little bit. Can you guys see it yet? Okay, what else are we gonna do? Let's add that classic Mickey Mouse smile. That might be too big of a smile. Now I notice you don't really want to hold the pen down too much because it will keep shooting out more chocolate. What else are we gonna do here? Let's let's do that little widow's peak starting right here, just above the uh, center of the eyes. There we go, and let's work that out. Follow it down to about right in here. Let's angle that back out just a little bit. Let's bring it back up the top. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fill that empty space in the center. Fill that in before it melts or I guess congeals, whatever you wanna call it. Now what's gonna make it look like Mickey, his signature ears. Let's put in some big old ears. Now hopefully I have enough room here to really make these ears big enough. And again, if they look lumpy, let's just make them unlumpy here. Hopefully I've got enough chocolate in this bag. Now, if I don't, what I'm gonna try to do, uh-oh, I might be hitting the end. <sighs> oh no, am I hitting the end? Is that the whole chocolate bag? You hear it? I might be down to the end. I've used all the chocolate. That's not good. Okay, I think I know now what I gotta do. Let's take this thing off. <gasps> I used most of the chocolate, it didn't get very far. No, no, not good. That's fine, I got this. I got this. Boom. Okay, so we've got most of Mickey done here. I think his nose should be just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit, so I'm gonna squeeze out what I can of this chocolate here, and maybe make his nose just a smidgen bigger, if that's even possible at this point. There we go. That looks a bit better. Let's do this, let's give him a bottom chin Let's give him as much of a side face as I can. I made Mickey chubby. I meant that my Mickey. Well, he looks funky now. <laughs> These bottom lines need to disappear forever. Mistakes are delicious. Now, a really cool thing about Mickey Mouse is that it doesn't take a whole lot 
for Mickey to turn into Minnie. So I'm gonna take some of this extra chocolate that's still warm up here, and I'm gonna give some Minnie Mouse eyelashes. So I'm just gonna take that, just dip that in there. Let's give some nice, big Minnie Mouse eyelashes. There we go, just dip that in there. I mean, really, what's the difference between Mickey Mouse and Minnie? Eyelashes and a bow. Oh, so you can even use a toothpick to smooth this stuff out. Okay, so next, I've got pink. Again, kind of massage it. Make sure it looks good. There's not too many lumpies in there. There we go. Boom, no problem. That's kind of, it's weird that people had such a problem with that, like originally. All the reviews I saw like hated that part. They were like, nope, dang thing doesn't close. Which is not the case for me, which is really nice. I was really worried that that wasn't gonna work well, but it did. All right, all right, what do we got here? Let's put this on there. Let's clamp this thing down. That worked pretty well. And we're ready for the bow. So let's start with a big circle right here. A nice big kind of ovaly shape. Oh yeah, beautiful. And then let's go up. Let's go up like this. Let's come back down like this. Let's go back down this way and let's come back up this way. All right, let's go up here to this side. Let's go up quite a bit. Come back down right about there. All right, let's close this up and let's do the last of this here. We'll do a couple polka dots in white. All right, first let's do the eyes in a nice white color. guys, here it is. It is my lumpy potato-faced Minnie Mouse. You think it tastes like potatoes? Potato face. Yeah. She is kind of potato-faced. She's just kind of breaking because I don't... Wait, right there. Yeah. Oh, well. But this is the fun part, right? What do you... Let me know first off what you guys think. Do you think I did an okay job? It, I broke it. I broke it. it. He's right. This is the fun part. Oh, see? She's breaking. It's... Oh, no. Eat it. Eat it. Take a bite. This is like the best part is getting to eat this thing. Uh-oh. Someone's stuffing his face full of chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. Wait, we gotta save some for Alicia. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it hurt. Let me know. That's pretty good chocolate. It is. Mm. So it's tasty. That's the pick. It's just kind of hard to use. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think it was a chocolate success or a chocolate failure? I've read some reviews saying this thing was real hard to use. It is. It wasn't. It, it wasn't is. that bad. It wasn't that bad. I kind of liked it. No. I mean, remember we do have to save some for Alicia. Sure we do. Guys, let me know what you think about the chocolate pen down in the comments below. I think if I had like professional piping and regular baking equipment, I probably could have done a better job. Maybe. But for a toy, for it's kids, delicious. I think it was actually pretty good. It is a delicious toy, right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love having you here. If you feel like supporting the channel, I do customized hats, shoes, and other stuff at mkt.com slash dano. And what else? And subscribe and like. Tell the camera. <laughs> and subscribe and like. 
This good. See you later. Bye. Bye.